have an awesome SaaS Pro Facebook group. We've got the link in below. It's completely free to join. We want you to join. We want you in as a SaaS Pro. We also have guides in here. We give away lots of free stuff. So be sure to jump in our Facebook group, facebookgroup.com forward slash groups forward slash SaaS Pro. And we'll see you inside the group right is the easiest to use it's the most versatile when it comes to either sending an invoice and managing subscriptions managing payments whether it's a one time reoccurring or maybe three or four payments you don't have to pay anything additional but your credit card processing fees people are intimidated by going right to stripe and setting their account but we're going to show you how easy it is to stripe up a, a set up a stripe account so when you go to stripe.com, all you're going to want to do is hit the start now button or look for the get started button. Make sure you put in your email address, your full name and password and begin to create an account. Once you are inside your Stripe account, it's going to take you to a home screen where you're going to want to begin the process to activate your account. So make sure that you have followed these, tell them about your business, make sure you put your registered business address if you're an individual or a company or not for profit. Basically, if you're running as a solopreneur and it's you're officing out of your home, go ahead and register your business here because you can update the address once you're in and everything is set up. You'll set up your business details as well. How are you using the Stripe? But they'll give you some support details. You'll want to put in your bank account details, meaning your checking, your routing number of the business account that you want to set up. And then once you're in, you will be activated pretty quickly. This is going to make things really easy for when you come in here and start to create your products. Once you get everything set up in here, this is where you're going to want to go through and create your first product. Now, when you create a product within Stripe, it's real easy to just add a product and come in and give your product a name. You can even add, attach an image. It's very easy to make. What's even great about this is if you have a product like we do that has a variety of different plans, you can add more additional price points to that product. And then here we would list that standard pricing, what the price, is it reoccurring or is it a one-time fee? So when you set up your reoccurring, you can do it monthly, daily, ours would be monthly. You can even do it yearly or every three months or six months. You can even do a custom section where it's every three months like this or every week. So you can completely customize your billing to make it real simple. You can even add a free trial in here as well. So setting up your products is really easy. Most of you are familiar with this by using maybe a PayPal or a Square account. It's the same philosophy. When you set up a product, you can actually set up links directly to that product that can be put into pages and every product that you enter will show up inside of your account. Great example of this is inside of the memberships. So if you're running a course or a reoccurring product or a one-time product, you can come in here and literally create an offer that you are offering to your customers right inside the membership course. This is where you would basically set up any offer that you were selling. So if I wanted to create an offer and I wanted to call this the solo business plan toolkit, and I called this the solo business, you could come right here. And when your Stripe account is connected, you can actually connect that price point right here to the product. So you would connect the product, which is going to my product, which is the solo business plan toolkit. Then I can select my price and hit create. So let me come to my product, which is the solo business plan toolkit. Yours could be download this price or whatever. You can see right here that the toolkit price, the one time $67 is right here. So when you click it, you'll see down here that it is connected to my product. The price point is set. And this also shows up in my products 
inside my Stripe account. We have set up a few varieties of our plans. So when I go to the solo plan option, but you can see how we selected two price points to launch this solo business plan. Once you've added all of your products and everything's ready to go, when you go back to your membership offerings and you start creating products, this is where it is. Now, not all products have to be a course. You can just do an info course. But the other cool thing that this relates to really well is when it comes to, I'm going to just go to a random contact here so I can show you how simple this is. I'm just going to select me. And let's say I wanted to send me an invoice. So now my Stripe account is attached and I can literally send a text invoice right here or an email invoice. So watch when I hit request a payment and I put in the item number. So let's do solo. And then we say 97. This is going to create an invoice. I tell it when it's due. And when I save and hit send, it will send them this and automatically create a product inside of my Stripe account. So you can do a certain expiration date to the link or the invoice. And when you're inside of your account, come into your payment options and look for your direct invoice. When you do go to create a new product, it will give you an option for links and whatnot. And when you go to create invoices, those will show up under your invoices. It's real easy to go into your more options and you can find your invoice settings your payment links your online invoices any subscriptions you can manage everything right here inside of your stripe you can also connect it to your courses and then sending an instant payment or a quick invoice request inside of your high level account and when you click on settings you go to integrations it's still in integrations but what happens is when i hit continue i'm going to click on continue here and when i click on continue you can see now you've got all of your integrations and they're actually in the right spot right here payments invoices and integrations now we'll talk more about payments and invoicing as we get into the payments and invoicing section, but I wanted you to see that it is also available here. Once you've connected your Stripe account, you can also utilize it as well in not only memberships, not only courses, not only products or subscriptions, you can also now add it to your calendar. So if you create a new calendar, you can actually add a payment on that calendar. So if you're booking a class or maybe you're doing a consultation, you can actually add the payments and you'll see that option. So be sure to check out that training video on the actual calendars. The other great thing that I love about the way this integration works is that inside of your invoices and transactions, if you were to go to products, you can create a product right from here. You can create a fresh product and it will speak to Stripe and bring that product in. If you've already created a product in Stripe, look at this. You can import your products and bring them in here as well. I really enjoy having everything in Stripe and bringing it into my products because we only have about eight or nine product SKUs. But what's happened is we've actually brought these into the high level system. So that way we can now manage our transactions pretty easy. And what I love about bringing these in is that the customer also also can see their payments and all their information when they log into their account. Be sure to check out the payments. We'll talk about payments and products. We'll also talk about calendars and payments. We'll also talk a little bit more about memberships with a new updated video on that as well. But again, I really recommend adding Stripe. It's really one of my favorite payment processors.
because I know there's a lot of things going around about Stripe disconnecting accounts and things like that. But if you do things the correct way and you manage your business effectively, having a Stripe account will be a really good asset and a back pocket for a credit card processor that is definitely effective and easy to manage both inside of high level and inside of your Stripe account. The final thing to talk about is when you are on your agency system and you do set up your SaaS configurator. What I do recommend is that if you set up your SaaS Pro pricing here, make sure that these are not inside of your Stripe because these will create new Stripe programs. Little trick that I do is I have the same programs everywhere, but I put a little asterisk on the program and that lets me know that this is an agency price setting. And once you create these, it'll save this and automatically put these into your Stripe account and you can see the Stripe details of the plan and it will say agency inside of your Stripe account. So that will allow you to manage the SAS Pro agency signup links for both your monthly, yearlies or whatever it is that you're doing on your SAS Pro plan. So again, using Stripe really communicates back and forth. Perfect for the agency. Lots of great things that you can do with Stripe and high level. So go set up your Stripe account and we'll see you on the next video. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and be sure to jump into the Facebook group. We'll see you on the next video.